Have you ever looked at someone before and said, I could never do what they do? Or maybe you looked at someone and you're like, I can never have what they have, even though you truly want it. My name is Joe Moffat with Mastered Life by Design, and today's video is about the number one belief for, that prevents you from quitting or failing. All right, before we jump in, if you like this video, smash that thumbs up button. Make sure you subscribe because we're doing three videos a week. Yes, three videos in areas of personal development, relationships, business finance. And then if you're looking for a breakthrough, make sure you apply down below at the, with the application page. If you want one-on-one -on -one coaching with myself, my wife, or our incredible coaches, make sure that you go ahead and fill that out. So, all right, let's jump in because I wanna share this with you. I'll keep it as short as possible, but let's be honest, we're all humans. It's natural, we have this natural tendency to want to compare, right? Compare our health to others, compare our looks to others, compare our finances, our house, our cars, our kids' behavior, right? Like we wanna compare all the time. I was just working with a client the other day and they're like, man, I remember you shared with me a belief before that changed my life and it was, and this isn't a belief, but this is a belief. Uh, the belief was when you compare, that's the death of you, right? When you compare, that's the death of you. How many times do we compare ourselves to other people? Now, many years ago, I was working in network marketing and one of my, my buddy who got me in, his name's Brian James, very successful in business and in the MLM space. And we were having a conversation one evening, and I remember it was I, I was I was young, much younger. I had this insecurity about me. I wanted people to give me success, like I thought I was due success that someone was supposed to hand it to me, and then I could run with it versus creating it. And I would always look at all these mentors that we were around, and you know these successful individuals, the ones that had the great family, the beautiful wife, the great kids, the money, the freedom, the time. And I'm like, <clears throat> I remember telling him like all the reasons why I couldn't have that, why I could never be that, right? How they were so much better than me. Have you ever felt that way? Like you just get around people and you're just like, I can never do that. Like that, that couldn't be me. Like how did they get there and why am I not there? And I remember I was just kind of like vomiting on him around like how all these other people were so successful. And my, I had like this pain. I had this thought that, I would never be successful. And I remember in that conversation, he kind of let me vent, which was awesome to get it out. But as he was going through, he started talking to me on why that's not true and this and that. And I don't remember the whole conversation, but I do remember this one thing that he said, and I've adopted this belief. And from that moment, I adopted that belief. I changed the way I look at people, especially those more successful than me. And so it's radically changed my life and it allowed me to put myself in a position where I could be successful. I could achieve that. I could have that. I could be that person with that skill set. And that number one belief I want to share with you because if without this, we tend to compare and we tend to quit. And we, we say, I can never do that. And we quit and you don't even attempt it or you attempt for a little bit and then you quit. And ultimately you fail because the definition of failure isn't just stopping. The definition of failure is not continuing to move forward. Look, I any, I see people, they've stopped at something and then they pick it back up and they, they're successful, right? Now, the time frame in which they do that can vary for people, but usually if you're a failure, it's because you stop and you quit completely. Like You don't get back up at all, right? And so if we're gonna, if we're gonna have this uh, this degree of where we're going to go to that next level, where we're gonna have success, where we're not gonna care what other people think. The number one belief I wanna share with you is exactly what my buddy Brian said to me that night. And in the midst of everything that he said, the one thing that clicked was, he said, Joe, you gotta remember, not everybody's got it going on like they say they do. And my mind went, Phew because I was like, I wasn't coaching yet. I couldn't see behind people's doors of how they, you know, they perceive themselves on social media or out on stage and then see what they do behind doors. I didn't have that yet. And so for me, I started, I adopted that belief and I, it changed the game for me because instead of looking at someone and putting them on this big pedestal, I was like, they don't have it going on like they say they do. 
Now, maybe there's a, quite a few people that actually do. They say they're emotionally stable and they seem like it, but behind the doors, they're a wreck. They're angry. They're pissed off all the time. They suffer all the time. They project that they got a lot of money. They have a nice car. They, they live in a you know nice big house, even though they're renting it and they're leasing the car. Nothing wrong with either of them. They're actually kind of smart. But we get this perception we build up in our mind that they have so much more and they got things going on more than they really do. So I started shifting. I started looking at people like, yeah, they put the pants on the same way I do. Yeah, she has, you know, she has a Mercedes and I could have that too, but doesn't mean it. How do I know she's not living paycheck to paycheck or client to client? And I started shifting from putting them on a pedestal, which behind the scenes in the coaching world, I would say, I stopped making them in a superior position compared to me. And that what that did is, and me being an inferior, what it did was it changed the game where we were all equal and we were on an equal playing field. And for me, that changed everything that not everybody's got it going on like they say to do. And me and my wife were talking the other night and we were just talking about how certain people, you know, like we see online and it's like, do they really got it going on like they say they do? They may, and that would be great. And if they do, I cheer them on, I'm excited for their success. And, but I'm not gonna allow their success to drain my ambition, my inspiration, my driver hunger to get to the next level. So I look at people as they don't got, they, they don't have it going on like they say they do. They might have a good life, but it doesn't mean I can't get there. So if you've ever found yourself comparing your business, your life, your relationship, your body in the other areas of other, like against other people, I want to challenge you to adopt the belief that they don't got it going on like they say they do. Yeah, they might be ripped, but they might be on emo emotionally unstable. Yeah, they might have an incredible family and marriage, but they don't have the finances that they need to do to take care of their family at the level in which they want to. And it's not to put other people down. The intention isn't to put other people down. It's the intention is to not allow yourself to get caught up in the story in your head that other people are better than you because if they are, we tend to say, why bother? And we tend to quit. And when we quit, well, ultimately we fail because we don't continue moving forward. So I'm building out my YouTube channel. It is easy to go ahead and look at people who've got a thousand people, a uh, 10,000, a hundred thousand view uh, subscribers, a million subscribers plus two million, and be like, man, I could never do what they do. But I have to remember, they don't have it going on for me. This helps me that they don't have it going on like they say they do, right? Like, yeah, maybe they had, they paid someone for subscribers in the beginning and that's how they launch. Well, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing a trade, you know, you subscribe to my page, I'll subscribe to yours to get a thousand or 10,000 or paying, you know, for all these fake subscribers. I'm doing it real because my intention and the way I think is I want to be able to teach people down the line when I hit a thousand, 10,000, a hundred thousand, a million viewers or subscribers that how I did it, right? So I'm thinking they don't have it going on like they say they do. Maybe they did something different. And I'm not saying they're being an authentic or questioning their integrity. That's not my point. But my point is for me, so that I don't get messed up in here and want to quit and ultimately fail at this pro, uh, pro uh, I was going to say this progress. Well, I guess it is progress, but uh, the P word I was looking for is the project, right? Like this project, building the YouTube channel so I can add massive value to people, right? Because I can only take on so many one-on-one -on -one coaching clients and have the life that I want to have. So if I can get my message out there, if I can add value to you on a consistent weekly basis, that's my goal, right? Because the more that you grow, the more that I grow, the more this world becomes a better place. The more you allow your light to shine, the more I allow my light to shine, the more we can set the example for the next generation or even the older generation to allow their light to shine. And the more we shine bright, the better this world becomes. Because uh, let's be honest, there's a lot of things going on in this world today and we need people to step up. So we wanna be careful. What's the beliefs that you carry? If you adopt this one belief that not everybody got it, has it going on like they say they do, it's gonna end your suffering. It's gonna end your pain. It's gonna end your worries or your doubt or your fears. And it's gonna allow you to keep moving forward. Put the blinders on, on what you're doing. Like I'm doing with, my, with this YouTube channel. I'm just putting the blinders on. Add value, add value, add value. And not care about what other people are doing because they don't have it going on like they say they do. Whether they do or not is irrelevant. If that helps me, then that's what I'm going for. So with that, 
be careful of you comparing yourself to others, to what he's doing, to what she has, to what he's built, to what she, how much she, ha how much money she has. Watch your comparison. And if you adopt a belief that not everybody's got going on like they say they do, it's not to put them down because they might be doing great. It's just so that you don't bring yourself down. And that is where I see a lot of my clients, they start to drag themselves down. They keep themselves in this inferior position. And if you've ever walked into, have you ever talked to someone about like, if you were really interested in dating them and you were, you felt like you were in this inferior position, you're not going to get their number. You're not going to go out on a date with them. But if you come in with this equal and or slightly superior, but not a cocky superior, you tend to get their number or to go out on a date with them. So be careful. It's so that this belief is so that you don't put yourself in an inferior position. You put it as an equal, if not a healthy superior position so that you can go after what you need to go after and build or create or have in your life. So with that, pretty short, pretty sweet, pretty simple. This number one belief can transform your life if you adopt it. And I had to condition this every day. I had to read it over and over. I wrote it down and I would say it out loud. I would do my affirmations or my incantations every day around people don't got it going on like they say they do. People don't got it going on like they say they do. I'd get around my multimillionaire mentors. They don't got it going on like they say they do. Yeah, they project that they have millions and they, pro they do got a lot of money. But in some area, you know, I'm just as equal, if not better than them. My health, my relationship, whatever it is, my mindset, my emotions, emotional stability. What are you better at than other people? Where are you much like a total badass? What area? And you might say, Joe, there's not really any area in my life. I guarantee you, uh, if I sat down with you and jumped on the phone, we would find some area. And maybe it's even that you're really good at putting yourself down compared to other people, right? It's not the healthy one, but you do do good there maybe. But maybe you do have a great relationship, a healthy body, you make great food choices, you're disciplined, whatever that might be. You're superior in some area than someone else that you look up to. I guarantee it. So with that, if you found value in this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button, subscribe, subscribe to this because we're going to be putting out three videos a week, area of relationship, business finances, and personal development, the way you change your beliefs. Because if you change the way you think, the more success you can have in any area of your life. That's why the number one book out there that you know has been around for a long time, Think and Grow Rich. It's called think. It's not saying go work your ass off and get rich. It's think and grow rich. If we can change the way you think through these videos, then I wanna help you move forward and then that next level of your life because this whole channel is about mastering your life by design, designing the life you want. And it starts with the way you think. You have to shift that before you can have the external, this outside world manifest what you want. So with that, if you feel like you need help manifesting or breaking through or changing the way you think, go ahead and click the application page down below in the comment or the description below. Fill it out. Someone will reach out to you, talk about working one-on-one -on -one with a coach so that you can break through, you can go to that next level, and you can create life by design. So with that, my name is Joe Mavu with Master Life by Design. Have a great day. See ya.